Hi everybody, welcome to Nerdx channel. Today we will learn how to use a buzzer on Nerdx to create audio tones. So let's get started. Open the Linux terminal. Enter inside Nerdx space slash Nerdx. Execute make this clean to clear previous configuration. Execute dot slash tools slash configure dot sh stm32f103 minimum slash nsa. OK, now execute make menu config to select the options to enable the PWM to use the buzzer. I will first select the USB console, so we need to watch this video to learn how to do that. And I will speed up the video. OK, now we can select the options to get the audio tone working on Nerdx. Enter inside System Type. STM32 Peripheral Support. Select Timer 2 and Timer 3. OK. Now go to device drivers, select PWM driver support, select audio device support, and enable audio tone generator using PWM. Now we need to return to system type and select Timer configuration, enable timer one shot wrapper, enable timer to PWM, change the timer to PWM output channel from 1 to 2, exit, exit again, that is it, now we can leave the configuration and save and just execute make to compile the source code. OK, the source code was compiled. Now we can flash the firmware inside the board. Execute the OpenOCD command. OK, it was flashed. Now I will show how to connect the wires to buzzer to get the audio tones working on Nerdx. First, we need to connect the ground pin here to ground of buzzer or GND pin here. Now, we need to connect the 3.3 volts to VCC pin here. And finally, we need to connect the PA1, the label A1 here. to I.O. pin of the buzzer here, OK? So our wire was connected. Then we can connect the board 
to the computer. That is it. Okay, we connect the wires in the buzzer. Now we connect the board in the computer. Let's see if the TTY ACM0 was detected. Okay, it was detected. Now we can execute Minicom. Change to use the TTY ACM0. Press Enter three times. One, two, three. Okay. Now we can see if the audio tone device file was created. LS slash dev. Okay, it was created, tone zero here. Now we can send the audio coded tones to tone zero device. This code will generate the for release melody. You can create an application to open this device and send other coded audio tones and use it to interact with the user and so on. I hope you had enjoyed this video tutorial and if you are not subscribed to Nerdx channel, please do it and see you in the next video. Bye bye.